The future of war will not be fought by soldiers alone. Imagine skies filled with thousands of drones, moving like a swarm of bees, overwhelming defenses in seconds. Now imagine a single vehicle, bristling with cannons, lasers, and missiles, capable of destroying them all at once. This is not science fiction. This is America's next generation missile defense, laser technology, and drone warfare that will decide who rules the skies in the wars to come. War has always been a contest of innovation. From the invention of the bow to the development of tanks and aircraft carriers, each generation redefines the battlefield. But today, a new transformation is underway. The race to dominate the future of war is no longer just about tanks or jets. It is about technology that can outthink, outmaneuver, and outshoot the enemy at unprecedented speed. At the heart of this race lies America's next-generation missile defense systems, designed not only to stop incoming threats, but to rewrite the rules of modern combat. The threats are evolving faster than ever. Nations like China, Russia, and Iran are investing heavily in drone swarms, hypersonic missiles, and artificial intelligence. Imagine a fleet of 1,000 drones launched simultaneously, each equipped with explosives, sensors, and the ability to swarm in perfect coordination. Conventional air defenses struggle to deal with even a handful of such drones. Now imagine hundreds. That is the nightmare scenario keeping Pentagon planners awake at night. To counter it, the United States is pushing the boundaries of science. Enter the age of laser weapons and AI-assisted missile defense. These are not slow, expensive prototypes hidden in laboratories. They are being mounted on vehicles, ships, and aircraft ready to change the way wars are fought. One such innovation is the Directed Energy Weapon System. Unlike traditional missiles that cost millions per shot, a laser beam can disable or destroy a drone at the speed of light with almost no cost per shot beyond electricity. For the first time in history, America may have the ability to create infinite ammunition on the battlefield. But lasers are only part of the story. The real backbone of America's defense lies in integrated missile systems mounted on vehicles like the one you see here. A futuristic hybrid of a truck, a fortress, and a spaceship, this vehicle is designed to intercept drones, missiles, and even hypersonic threats simultaneously. Bristling with cannons, electronic warfare modules, and radar, it forms the shield wall of the 21st century. America's vision for future warfare is not built on a single weapon, but on an ecosystem of technologies working together. At the center of this network are mobile missile defense platforms capable of moving with ground forces and creating protective domes against aerial threats. These vehicles are equipped with multiple layers of weaponry, long-range missiles for intercepting incoming ballistic threats, medium-range cannons for drones and cruise missiles, and finally, short-range directed energy lasers that can fry electronics in an instant. The genius of this system is not just in its firepower, but in its brain. Artificial intelligence is being woven into every part of the battlefield. Unlike human operators who can track a limited number of targets, AI can monitor hundreds, sometimes thousands, of objects at once prioritizing threats and assigning countermeasures in milliseconds. When a swarm of drones approaches, the AI does not panic. It calculates flight paths, predicts intent, and fires weapons in the most efficient sequence. This kind of machine speed is the only answer to machine threats. To understand why America is investing so heavily in swarm defense, we must look at how warfare has changed in just the past decade. Drones have moved from being reconnaissance tools to frontline strike weapons. In conflicts across the Middle East, Africa, and Eastern Europe, we've seen how low-cost drones can devastate multi-million dollar equipment. A thousand-dollar drone carrying a simple explosive can disable a tank or take out an artillery position worth millions.
Now imagine that scaled up with AI control, satellite guidance, and advanced payloads. The economics of war have shifted, and the Pentagon knows it. That's why vehicles like the new U.S. Army laser defense platforms are more than military machines. They are economic equalizers. Instead of spending millions to intercept cheap drones, America wants to fight swarms with beams of light costing mere cents per shot. This is the new math of defense. The battle for tomorrow's skies is not just about hardware or firepower. It is about speed, intelligence, and dominance in the invisible world of signals, code, and light. America's military understands that the winner of future wars will not simply be the side with more weapons, but the side with smarter systems, machines that can anticipate, adapt, and act in fractions of a second. In this race, missile defense systems like the U.S. Army's laser-equipped vehicles are more than weapons. They are symbols of a new era. Every detail, every sensor, every radar pulse, every beam of light is engineered to serve a larger mission, to secure not just battlefields, but entire nations. For the United States, that mission is clear. Protect its forces, protect its allies, and above all, ensure that the future belongs not to chaos, but to control. But the cost of such dominance is staggering. Billions of dollars are being poured into directed energy research, AI-powered control systems, and next-generation missile interceptors. Critics argue that this money could be spent elsewhere, on education, health care, or infrastructure. Yet history offers a brutal lesson. The price of being unprepared in war is always greater than the price of preparation. The Pentagon sees the writing on the wall. Hypersonic missiles that travel at five to ten times the speed of sound. Drone swarms so numerous that no human could hope to track them. Electronic warfare attacks that blind satellites and radar in seconds. Against such threats, traditional defense is obsolete. The only way forward is technological revolution. That revolution is already underway. In secret testing grounds across the deserts of Nevada and the plains of Texas, prototype systems are being pushed to their limits. Engineers fire waves of drones at laser-equipped vehicles to measure their endurance. They simulate hypersonic missile attacks to refine interception algorithms. Every failure teaches the AI. Every success makes the system stronger. Step by step, America is building a shield unlike anything the world has ever seen. Yet, technology alone cannot guarantee victory. Strategy matters. Morale matters. Allies matter. America's strength has always come not just from its weapons, but from its ability to rally coalitions, to lead alliances, to make its technology the foundation of collective security. NATO allies are already being introduced to American laser defense concepts with discussions of joint development and deployment. If adopted widely, these systems could blanket Europe, Asia, and beyond with overlapping defensive networks. The implications are enormous. Imagine a world where no missile can reach its target, where every drone swarm is instantly neutralized. The balance of power shifts not toward aggression, but to stability. Wars may not disappear, but the cost of launching them skyrockets. A rogue state considering a drone strike on U.S. forces would have to face the reality. Their attack might be destroyed before it even begins. If you found this exploration of America's next-generation missile defense eye-opening, join the conversation below. Do you think drone swarms will dominate the battlefield, or will laser technology tip the scales back toward defense? Share your thoughts in the comments, subscribe for more in-depth documentaries, and stay with us as we uncover the secrets of future warfare. The War of Tomorrow begins today.